It's Tip Tuesday. Today we're making caged beads with the Beadalon Contastic tool. I will link up below some other tutorials where I've made caged beads. I will link them up in the description below. What you're going to need for this project is the Contastic tool, 18 and 20 gauge wire, beads and your tools. So I'm going to start with the tool. I'm using the basic mandrel that comes with the kit. This is the largest size. You're just going to screw it in with the Allen's key and then all the other bits fit in the end of the tool. And you just screw on the cap. And then I'm taking some 18 gauge wire and I'm going to twist it around to form a spiral Give it a little tug at the end to close the circle. Remove it once you've made it as curved around as you like. And then flip it in a way that the cone is going to go the other direction. So just bring it around, same amount if you can, and just give it a little tug to close the loop on the end. So you have this configuration and we're going to clip the ends flush. So give it a clip on each end with your flush cutters and then take your flat pliers and pinch it in so there's no pokey ends. So after that we will get our pliers and just hold the wire and push it down a little bit to compress it and you can also use your hands just to compress it a little bit. Pushing the wires together, wiggling them around as you need. You can use your pliers too. So we're just going to push it down and then just split it open. Pop in your bead. This is about a 10 millimeter bead. You can use 10, 12 millimeters, how you like. And once it's in there, we're going to get a piece of 20 gauge wire, clip the end and do a little loop in the end. You can also use a head pin instead of this wire. So now we're going to find the hole of the bead, pop it through, make sure your wire is going through the little loops and make sure those loops are closed so it doesn't slip out. And then we're going to add beads. So I have a six millimeter cat's eye bead, a metal spacer bead, and a little glass faceted bead. So hold it firmly and bend that end around with your round pliers, form a loop, and then wind it around so the beads are snug there. Give it a little clip with the flush cutters, pinch it in with the flat pliers, and then get an earring hook or make your own, pop it on the hook, close it up, and there are your beautiful caged bead earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.